Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about building symbolic equations in MATLAB. So let's say we look at this set of equations. We look at the third one down here. This 3a1 alpha to 2 thirds minus 3a1 squared alpha to 1 third plus a1 uh, cubed minus 1 equals 0. So let's say we want to put that into MATLAB where a alpha is this term, a is a1 is this term, and uh, those are the only two variables we have here. So we can see, all right. So we want to first we want to we want to make all of input all of our our symbolic variables. So we're going to use the SYMS function. So SYMS space then your if a is a a, a is a variable, uh, and if it's a word it's going to be a single quote then alpha. And then, and then in single quotes, so capital A, lowercase a, lowercase b, capital B, capital C, E, epsilon, etc. So you do all of your different variables. Then you're going to define your equation. So we have this equation 30, 0, 1, underscore s. I got a funky naming convention, I know. And then we're going to write our equation out 3, 3a times alpha to 2 thirds minus uh, 3a squared alpha to 1 third plus. A, a cubed minus one, and so this is equal to zero. This equation is equal to zero. Generally, when you when you make an equation like this, I seem to think it's it's easiest to to make it all equal to zero because it's hard to define a variable like this and have it equal to something other than zero. So then uh, we define this. So if I run this and then I go to the command window. That's not what I wanted to do. And that's also not what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to use the pretty command to look at the equation I just made. So I can go to the command window. I can type in pretty, pretty, and then the name of the equation. I hit enter, and my equation pops up. You can see I have 3a alpha to 2 thirds plus a cubed minus 3 a squared alpha to the one third minus one. So there's my equation. Now I want to put in the subterms. So I had all the, this was my base equation, and then I had all these subterms. So a one is equal to gamma over three n. Alpha is equal to y f u over y f c. And all these other terms go with other equations, so don't worry about them right now. So I have I have a couple things to put in. All right, so I've I've renamed this a a sub s, but we're gonna leave it as a for now. Then I have my alpha and I have my gamma s. So this gamma. So I need to do a double change because this this alpha or this a1 is a gamma over 3n, and this gamma is this equation. So this nice 4.836, blah, 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 all these terms need to fit into wherever there's an a1 and wherever there's an a1 in the equation. So we're going to do this step by step. We're going to take our equation. We're going to use the subs, a combination of the subs command and the compose command. So the reason we do this is because if you look at the code that's built in the compose function, uh, you get with your MATLAB uh, program. This it's meant to use for e symbolic equations that only have one one variable really. Uh, so what it does, it looks for the it makes a list of all the variables in the equation, and then it replaces the last one with the term that you uh, you put in after the comma. So what we're going to do is take our original equation this equation 30 underscore 0 1 underscore s and replace a with triple z so that's going to make trip it's going to make a into triple z and triple z will obviously be at the bottom of the list unless you happen to have some variable with more than three z's at the beginning of it which would be very special and then we're going to so i renamed that equation 30 underscore 0 1 5 underscore s and then i'm going to I'm going to take that and use the compost function and switch out the triple z's for a sub s. So this is our gamma over 3n n sub s. So the s is just 
uh, naming no notation because I was using two different coding schemes for this. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the alpha term. I'm going to make alpha into the triple Z and then uh, compose alpha into the new equation. And then I'm going to make gamma into the triple Z and then compose gamma into the new equation. Now you may say, why do you go to the trouble to do this? Why didn't you just uh, define alpha above above this equation and not make it a symbol? And then you would have automatically included it into this equation here. Well, you could do that, but the whole point of this exercise was that I wanted to be able to see this base equation, see that it was built correctly, and then one by one add the terms that go into the equation so that if I want to I can modify let's say the gamma equation by itself and automatically have it change in the base equation without having to look in the main equation and make changes in multiple places because the gamma term shows up in each A so if I if I wrote it all out as one big equation then I, if I wanted to change um, these gamma terms uh, I'd have to change it in multiple places and then if I if I put it above I wouldn't be able to see whether I would typed in the original equation correctly or not. It's a little ugly you don't necessarily have to do it this way but um, I did it and that's how I like to do it. So we can look at our final if we go to pretty and we use equation 30 uh, underscore zero six underscore s and we go to our command window and type that in we'll see we have this giant um, giant equation now where we've replaced everything in our in this base equation with the new terms so they're all out you can go through and check and make sure they're all right that's all kind of nice and written out that's what the pretty command does so if you didn't want to use this scheme. If I'm not mistaken, you should be able to take um, this, copy it above here, and then um, you run it that way. Let's see if we don't get the same answer. I haven't actually prepared this as I might have, but if I go down here and I copy this, now I should get the same That's right. There's a reason I did the complicated method in the first place. I don't remember what it was. Something about... So my, my alpha... went in... for the alpha term. A stayed the same. So it didn't replace A. And I all oh right, because I called it A C S. Let me see what this works. Sorry that I recorded this, but it's interesting. Alright, so I got I got two steps in, right? I replaced A with gamma over three in and alpha with y f u over y f c but I didn't replace my gamma term. The gamma term didn't go into A now now if I do this I'm not completely sure whether this will work or not. Okay. So if you don't want to be able to look at your base equation 
uh, to make sure that it's written correctly, you can also define all of your variables and or define all of the bits of your equation in in symbolic form, and then just have your base equation afterward. That works too. Um, so either way, whichever works for you. I'm going to talk about in another video solving symbolic equations. I think I have a simple video up now. And I'm going to add a more complicated video when I get a chance. But I hope you found this useful and have a good day.